All right, here we are at our 2004 Sun Tracker 32 foot party cruiser pontoon houseboat for sale here on the beautiful fresh waters of Norris Lake, Tennessee. This slip is transferable. If anybody needs a place to keep it, it can stay right here. We're actually very convenient to I-75 just north of Knoxville, Tennessee. We And we are in Rocky Top, Tennessee today. So... Again, this slip is transferable. I believe this is about a 12 by 40 foot covered slip. Boat can stay right here. This boat is trailerable at this 32 foot length. It's I think an eight and a half foot beam here. Eight foot beam or eight and a half foot beam. We'll put a tape measure on it here later. We're about ready to lose our lighting for the day. So we we'll go ahead and do our walkthrough video. As usual, we'll have the full list of specifications, features, options. Um, all the measurements of this, I believe this is a 32 foot LOA, uh, but we'll have the bridge clearance. Now the bridge clearance is gonna be how tall this is from the water line up to the top of the roof. Uh, I believe this one's just over about 10 feet of bridge clearance. And I believe the dry weight is about 5,060 pounds if I remember correctly. We've sold a handful of these party cruisers through the years. Uh, these are these are really great options for people. Um, they don't want to fend, spend a fortune, but want something that's low maintenance uh, that they can stay overnight in or stay the weekend in at the lake. This is essentially half pontoon, half houseboat. Well, it's pretty much all pontoon, but it does have a small cabin on it. You've got essentially a pontoon lounge, lounge seats up here in the bow of it, and then a fully enclosed, air conditioned, and heated cabin um, about the middle of it. And we've got a small little rear deck we'll, we'll go in there here uh, here shortly that is a camper canvas on the rear deck essentially bimini top you can have it fully enclosed like it is now there's privacy curtains that will also drop down we've got the privacy curtains raised for our videos and photographs um you can also take that whole thing off or you can just leave the bimini top so summer months you might take the uh the three kind of side curtain windows off and then just have that bimini overhead so also we've got a small little sun deck up there uh, we'll poke our head up there as well these are 26 inch diameter aluminum pontoons and this is an all aluminum deck i believe some of these early 2000 uh, party cruisers had this all aluminum deck eventually they switch switched to kind of your standard three quarter inch marine grade plywood flooring that any other pontoon would have but in this particular year, this particular uh, one we have for sale here, that is all aluminum deck. I'll give you a glance under there as well. We're here for our video walkthrough tour as usual. We are gonna kind of do our, our walkthrough of the exterior, the interior, and then we'll go back, look at any of the wear and tear items a little bit more closely. We will invite you to visit our website if you've got any questions or want to uh, schedule a time to come see this one in person, submit an offer, anything like that. We don't monitor YouTube comment page. So if you do have any questions, please reach out to us through our website. Uh, there will be a direct link for this listing down the video description. Now, if you're watching this on a device that does not allow you to see that full video description, you can go and do it the old-fashioned way. Um, go to our website, www.yournewboat.com. Click in, or once that loads, you're going to see the yournewboat.com logo across the top of your screen in orange letter, and that lets you know you're at the right place. Find your new boat button will be in the top left-hand corner. When you click that, it's going to load all of our inventory and order price. All you got to do is scroll down until you get to that 2004 Sun Tracker 32 foot party cruiser uh, for sale. You're going to see the asking price right there. And then, of course, um, you'll see our contact information right there as well. You don't even have to click into that photo slideshow. You'll see our, our phone number and a link to email us. You can also text that number as well. Uh, we do like to remind you if, you if you call us on the phone, you get our voicemail. Keep in mind, we are frequently near without cell phone reception. So make sure you, if you want to return call, phone call, make sure you leave us a message. Let us know which list you're looking at, what questions you have. As soon as we either finish with the client or return to sales service area, we'll receive your message. Be able to return your call, have all those questions answered for you. Uh, now, I'm pausing here for just a moment up here on the front deck because I do want to point out these two lounge seats right here, these uh, kind of bench seats uh, from this this section here all the way to this section that will slide over almost to the middle well it does slide over to the middle on both sides and that will kind of make this um, whole uh, front bench seat one large sun lounge um, if you will so there's also going to be a removable lounge table that's a mount for it right there 
and there is a magma marine uh, propane grill that's going with this one as well. Um, otherwise, pretty much everything you see in this video tour will be transferring with the boat. Um, I think there is uh, still some tools and fishing equipment that will be um, excluded, but every otherwise most everything else you'll see will be staying. So, um, let's see here. Two speakers up here on the front porch as well. We've got some rod holders that have been added. Um, and there could be plenty of fenders going with that, uh, this one. See those white fenders up there? Those are, those are going with the boat. That seat actually goes with the boat as well. That is one half of a little convertible dinette that goes in the cabin. Now this, um, the particular um, owner of this one, they, and actually they're the third owner of this boat. Um, they've owned it about two years. And when I step in the door here, you'll see they've, they've kind of replaced that dinette with a little futon. Um, actually, let's, let's head that way next. I believe that's about all we need to show you out here until we start doing the wear and tear. And I'll give you a look under that pond, uh, that deck of that here in a few as well. So I'm gonna start right here at your little helm station here. We do have a tilt steering wheel and your engine instrumentation is here. You've got uh, your engine temperature gauge, tachometer, oil pressure, your drive trim fuel gauge down here on the bottom. We've got a small little compass over here, a little Ritchie compass integrated into your dash as well. Um, function tested everything on board here. Everything does function. Uh, we've got navigation lights, docking lights, your bilge, and your blower both work just fine, as does the horn. Uh, 12 volt power outlet right over here, right next to your uh, driver sound, and a little integrated cup holder right there. We've got a little air horn right there as your horn backup. It's not a bad idea. And then uh, as we pan away from that driver's seat, this is what they've replaced kind of what um, and, and originally would have been like a, a small little dinette that kind of made a bed uh, in this area. They've just kind of replaced it with this small little, uh, actually really nice looking little, um, almost like a leather uh, futon. And this easily makes into bed. You just put that little pull right there. And then you just slide it out from that wall a little bit, and those will drop right down. And then there's your little sleeping space, space right there. There's also some memory foam um, that is going with this as well. Um, that one just didn't offer enough padding, I guess, for the uh, for the current owners. So they've they've got some nice thick memory foam that's also going to be going with this one. Uh, this this is nice and easy to flip right back up into position, and then you just give this little slide back over here towards our wall. And you're all set. We got some storage underneath, a little bit of storage behind there as well. That would be a 24 inch Roku television mounted just overhead. That's going to be an HD, uh, again, Roku television. You can see we've got some integrated shelving built in over overhead over here on either side of your cabin walls. And then this right here is this going to be a uh, Duotherm brisk air roof mount air conditioning unit with the optional heat strips. So this, this fully enclosed cabin here on this um, party cruiser model, most of these, most all of these did have a roof air unit, but not all of them had the op optional heat strips. This one does. And you can even see you've got that, um, essentially your aluminum framing up here on the roof as well. So small little high sense. Uh, this is just a, a standard uh, little mini fridge, 110 volt mini fridge. So this is only going to work on shore power or if you're running a generator whenever you're out underway. And then a small little microwave, little GE microwave. I believe that's a 700 watt GE microwave as well. Now originally there would have been a small little uh, kind of cabinet integrated right in here that had a AM FM um, stereo, AM FM uh, USB auxiliary stereo that is still here. They've uh, obviously opted to to use this space for this little uh, refrigerator. You still have these two interior speakers, and your your CD or, or not your CD, but your stereo still functions just fine. Um, now that this is adequate for them, but yeah, this all still powers right up. You're gonna have um, let's see, AM, FM. AM, FM, USB, auxiliary input, Bluetooth stereo. And we've got four speakers. These are your two right here for the cabin. And then we've got two more up at the in the bow area, which I think I pointed out to you on either side of these lounge seats up here as well. So you got four speakers, little, little storage cabinets on the ends of these lounge seats as well. I think I neglected to, to point those out. 
So, all right, let's step back on inside here. So that stereo is still here, fully functional. Um, you know, somebody else might want to maybe finish that up or a little bit neater. Um, maybe a cabinet or something to mount those inside speakers. So driver's seat does uh, swivel up here. Um, let's see. All right, moving on back. So now this is our little galley area. You, you do have a little stainless sink. This Keurig uh, coffee maker is going to stay. And then this right here, this is going to be a dual burner, alcohol or electric stovetop. Um, this does take a kind of a special little alcohol that goes into here. Otherwise, these are your fully electric uh, burners. So again, alcohol or electric. You'll see these in a lot of little cabin cruisers. And then that, um, that top that does basically go right back down in a place gives you a nice uh, surface up there for any prep uh, that you're doing or even just using this counter space. Got a little built-in um, cabinet right there. And a little cabinet under here as well. We've got an onboard battery charger. It's, it's actually mounted right underneath here. That's going to be a little um, guest. I think that's probably about a f uh, five amp battery charger. We've got your Pause just a moment here. Let me get out a light for you so I can show you what's underneath here. This is some of the boats equipment right here. Here we are. All right, so here's your kind of your little power panel right here. And that's where your shore power is coming in. That's where you're going to be able to transfer from shore power to generator power. And then you've got kind of some minimal breakers right there. One of those is going to be for the stove top. One's going to be for the air conditioning. The other's for your battery charger. And then we're running essentially just an extension cord to power that uh, microwave and refrigerator. I think they've added some, some other uh, lighting in here as well. Now, directly across from that, I'm going to step back, give you another kind of pan of our cabin area here. We try to give the full 360 degree tour best we can without making you nauseous. We try to get better with that. So I'm opening our little head compartment here. Now this is where that big memory foam I just had in there just for storage. Obviously that's kind of been cut to fit that uh, little futon at it over here. I don't, what is that? Maybe about a four inch thick uh, memory foam. And here's your little head compartment. We've got the Thet Fort porta potty in here. Simple uh, drain down there on the floor. This is your shower overhead. We're going to have a small little water pump in here, and then that's going to be drawn from a um, your freshwater tank that's actually mounted on the roof. A small little storage shelf right there as well. A little towel rack, and get a little. Um, Toilet paper holder right there. It's going to keep your tissue nice and dry as well. So let me slide this memory foam back in there just to have it out of our way. And I have to lift up on that door a little bit, keep it from snagging on that carpet. So now we've got the other screen door. It's going to take us to this uh, rear porch area. We do have these little uh, bungees right here. It's going to kind of let these. Um, sliding doors stay propped open uh, so whenever you're underway and get you a nice breeze all the way through here if you so prefer um, yeah we are losing our lighting real quick back here let me get that light back out again um, oh wait we have a little light a small little light back here I don't think it's going to do much good let me get my light out so here in our rear deck We've got essentially another little um, convertible uh, lounge area. And again, this all this canvas is going to be removable. Obviously, I've got those privacy screens kind of in that up position right now. And they will actually make full screens as well. So this is just kind of Velcroed on with your eyes and glass. And that will come up. There's a snap holding that on right there. So this eyes and glass part can also be raised up. Oh, this comes from the top. That's why we're just hop and goes down. So then you now you've just got a screen. So that's gonna allow everything to ventilate in here. Uh, depending on what time of year it is. 
Um, and again, these also, you've got a zipper right here. So that zipper's going to go all the way down and you can take that entire like window, if you will, all the way out. So you get more breeze in here if you still want the shade during the summer months by, by leaving the Bimini up. Now, I do need to point out that both um, the front porch uh, Bimini top and this rear one, these are on their last legs. This one's kind of really been uh, patched together here. We've got some like silicone in here kind of holding this seam together. So it's it has been getting by. If you take this off, it's probably not going back up. You can also tell um, over here we've got a small little patch area right over here as well. But it's, like I said, it's, it's on its last legs. Depending on what your plans are for this, you're, you're probably going to want to budget just have an all new canvas made for it. So now this is the other half of that little convertible dinette. Uh, you've also got the plastic uh, roto molded sided base. See how that slides out right here. This um, those bow seats that I kind of showed you up in the in the front of the boat. They essentially kind of fold out the exact same way that this one does. And then that one just goes into place right there. And it might go the other way. But anyway, you can see that now you've got um, just this an another lounge area. Uh, but again, that, that originally, uh, right there in that cabin, essentially facing one another. Um, and then whenever you would want the bed, you kind of have to make it up like that. Just not super large, so you can see why they um, brought in the other little futon there. Okay, putting that back in place, and then this slides right back in as well. Perhaps. Okay. Now, we've also got a big convertible area here. So, um, which one we want to show you first? Actually, I'm going to leave it in this position right now. And move this pad right here. We've got storage under these bench seats. And this is going to be access to your engine hatch right in here. You can see we've, we're losing a hinge over here on, on this as well. Let me switch sides here. So this is our uh, 3.0 liter. Mer Cruiser. This is going to be an inline four cylinder, inboard, outboard, stern drive engine. So we've got an inline fuel filter down there as well. And that's your bilge pump mount all the way down there, just like it's supposed to be down there on the floor. Uh, this is going to be a an easy drain feature that's going to allow you to drain the water out of your engine block. It's not to be replaced with winterizing, but it is going to allow you. Um, essentially the ease of, of pulling those engine block drains to let that water drain. And then right here is going to be the little um, air cleaner. You can't see much on there. So let's close that back. Storage under these other two hatches as well. Um, and then actually, not put this up but these are the little supports you will use they go in this track right here you've got two of those okay and um, that allows this area to be supported bear with me I'm having a hard time holding a light and the camera okay um, that will allow you to support this next piece I'm just going to move the cushion for now. So when you have those supports in place, this right here will flip all the way over. And it's, again, it's, of course, right now it's supported on the edges. You want to want to lay on there without those center supports. And then both of those cushions are going to slide up there. And that's going to give you another large um, lounge area, whether it's a sun lounge or an extra uh, sleeping area. Now, while that's up, I'm also going to raise... I think it goes this way. Here's your other access to your little engine room area. Okay. And over here is going to be your dual batteries with a battery switch, battery selector switch right there. And then this side's going to be your fuel tank. 
and that is a 30 gallon fuel tank. We'll slide this cushion back up. Okay. Now then, you see this big, large Westinghouse iGen 4500 watt, uh, 37 running watts, but a 45 uh, peak watt. This is an electric start air cooled generator. This also is going with this one. I believe this has about, I believe it had about 12 hours on it. And you got a small little 3.4 gallon fuel tank. That ladder there is going to take us up to the to the rooftop, and you can also see we've got some nice integrated storage for the two removable lounge tables. And I saw the one mount for that lounge table was up all the way up here in the bow of the boat, right there. Second mount is actually right under here because again, this is where that um, this is where that kind of convertible dinette was that they replaced with that little futon. So now I'm going to undo a few snaps over here so I, so I can show you our rooftop. Bear with the camera, shaky camera footage here for just a moment. Let's see if I can get these other, there we go, two more snaps over here. There we go. And that should pull back just enough for me to get through, go up our ladder up here. This roof was recently coated and we'll try to have what product they used at our website uh, but it, it appears that it still has kind of that RV roof it's just better with or without the camera or the light up here um, appears to be like a little um, rubber roof that you're gonna have typical on like an RV roof that they've um, they've used some sealant and coated over that and I think they've done a pretty fair job as far as sealing everything out. That's the purpose of your roof up here, is just sealing it out from moisture. And I think they've done that. This is going to be your onboard fresh water tank right here. That's what's going to feed down to that shower and that other sink. And again, this is this is the, um, the roof air unit with those optional heat strips. Roof is nice and solid up here. Yeah, you can kind of see a lot of caulking around the edges, um, some kind of a crease right in here, and we do have we do have a little bit of damage to that exterior. So we're gonna we're gonna start showing you all of that as well. We don't we don't we're gonna hide anything. We're gonna do the best we can to represent every list we have as accurately as possible. Can't really change the condition of these. So there's no point in us not showing it and it's just a, be a waste of everyone's time if you came down and saw it without us showing it to you. Um, trying to kind of show you this bimini top up here. We'll have some photos of this when we still had a little bit better daylight. Uh, but again, that bimini top's on its kind of on its last leg. So just kind of wanting to point that out. Anchor light did function just fine up there. Um, all right, bear with me here. Let's go back down this ladder. Okay, so you are going to have some new canvas. Uh, that's just a seam right there. But again, we've we've got a lot of wear areas, and it's just it's on its final leg. Postry is in pretty good shape on the interior. Uh, let's head on out back. Here. Oh, um, window treatments right here. One-handed operation on those. Now up here um, on the interior, of course we, we got kind of some stains in the carpeting. Um, that's that's kind of going to be typical at about this age, but we do have some stains on these seats. Light might be kind of drowning out a little bit. Yeah, you can see that. Those stains right there. Now I'm going to tell you, um, you're probably never going to get this out when when it's when it gets some age on it like this. I can kind of tell that those, those have been there for a little while. Um, I don't think those are going anywhere. And in fact, if you try to uh, bleach it out all the way, you'd probably harm the fabric. Um, then up here, we in the uh, front corner, we do have some patches up here. Oops, 
move that light back around there for you. Do you have some patches up here uh, where they've tried to they've tried to kind of uh, keep any of these rips or tears from getting larger? I'm assuming is what those for. You got another one right there, kind of beside where that patch is. Another small patch right here, and then just some stains right here. Um, other than the stains and and you know the those patches up there. Condition wise, this is this has still got some life left. You're just you're just not going to be able to get these stains up here on these seat backs out in my opinion uh, Not without harming the uh, the material Keep going across this seats not quite as bad as the other one um, And then you still have some similar patches up here in those anytime you get a rip you you need to patch it with something Otherwise, it's just simply going to continue to get worse small one right here on this kind of um, oh, just lost my, uh, the word for that, that little piping, and that's what it is. And then again, another patch right here, but you also got another little tear kind of right in here next to that patch. Okay, now let me open this bow gate so I can show you underneath, I uh, give you a look at this, um, aluminum decking that's underneath here. So that is all aluminum under there. No rot in the floor. All right, let's go, uh, let's walk around the exterior a little bit more closely now. Come out this gate, this one's actually nice and in the middle of the slip, so it makes it easy for us to see both sides. We do have a pretty good little dent on both of our pontoons. In fact, one of them looks like the, it's been re-welded. Maybe even both have been re-welded a little bit. Now, as long as there's no cracks in there, it's not going to bother me. Now, it might bother some people, so if it does, then this one's not for you. But um, you can also have these pontoons pressure checked. Um, but if you do have any cracks, even in that area up there, you're, you're well up from the water line, so you can always even seal those with anything. Um, that one looks like it, it, is, um, it was probably had a little bit of welding done to it, maybe to seal up any cracks. Very similar on, this would be the uh, port side pontoon, very similar on this one as well. All right, now let's continue along here. We do have some, just kind of some um, dents and scratches on this aluminum paneling over here. You can even see we've lost the 32 from that uh, Party Cruiser 32 logo. A few little marks through that vinyl decal in there. All right, now on this, this cabin wall right here, they've done some repairs to this. These party cruisers, um, one of the downsides is they their their cabin walls can take on moisture and have moisture damage, especially when they're not under covered slip. Um, now, as long as this guy's owned this one for the last two years, it's been under cover. But obviously, one of those two previous owners did not have this in a covered slip, and it did sustain some. Um, moisture intrusion in this cabin wall um, probably somewhere around this window you can see it's still got some give to it there's not a whole lot to these walls and you've kind of got some wrinkles in just this is like a um, this is like a matting that's essentially glued to this uh, plywood walls I believe instead of like a pressure laminated uh, I believe these are just kind of uh, glued to these walls for these sun trackers and you can see you got a little crack in here This has been sealed up a little bit um, Now this is where a, a, a covered slip makes all the difference if you're in a covered slip like it is now If you're going to keep it right here, you're probably fine if at any point this is not going to be under covered slip This needs to be sealed up a whole lot better or even replace this um, Outer covering or, or at least seal these up a whole lot better than they are now because where those kind of bubbles are you start get some little creases in there um, but again, you do have a little bit of, of probably some um, some rot in that wall somewhere. Um, and then you've got a little um, silicone caulking seal right here that um, that needs to be redone because some water, any kind of water is going to get in behind that if this is out of that covered slip. Uh, this section here next to it is not 
is not as bad. That feels pretty firm. And this lower section here, uh, it's hard to tell. I, I still, that feels pretty firm as well. All right, that's just a bug up there. And then now right here, that's our aluminum paneling again. You got a little dent in there and your, your striping um, that was on here originally is no longer there. That's that Region C Edition logo. Again, lack of striping right here. You get a little bit left. Most of it's gone. You do have some dents and scratches along the way back here as well. And that's going to continue around the corner of this boat. And um, we've got a little bit worse on the other side. So we'll get to that um, next year. Uh, but again, all aluminum right here. Uh, see that corner? Um, that's that's all aluminum right there. That is solid. That's kind of just aluminum rub rail right there that caps the end of that um, or the sides of that aluminum ducking. Again, there's that other part of that futon air. Oh, we did have a did have a. Let me go back over here. That kind of that aluminum um, rail edge. We do have kind of um, some wear in this corner right here and I think he had a little bit of an impact on the bow up here yeah you can kind of see where it's kind of hit something right in there rest of that edge looks pretty good and then another another wear mark right in there okay so again similar trend going along the way over here you got a pretty good little scratch through the vinyl there you're missing that 32 logo and some scratches through that vinyl decal on that aluminum railing and then now we're back up in this cabin wall again caulking's a little bit messy around through here but this side does feel pretty solid below this window is usually where the, any moisture intrusion shows up first and that all feels pretty good um it seems to be lacking a little bit of caulking in there so if this one is out of a covered slip again that that would needs to be recalked do you have a pretty good little uh get where the lights on there uh, little scratches on that wall right in there and then we've got some really good scratches right in here it starts about right here and it progressively gets a little bit worse right below our shore power plug-in and that continues across you get another one running above it starts right about at that shore power connection point and that's going to continue all the way across as well even even scratched up that aluminum framing pretty good and then some heavier scratches in the you know this is where that aluminum paneling starts again some heavier scratches in that aluminum paneling back here on this section of it you can see kind of a crease it caught something and it drug all the way down the side of that and then similar up here that's a spider right there and similar line right in there you can see that so you can see the aluminum into that deep scratch right there and that's going to go all the way around all the way to pretty much the corner same thing on that line at the at the near the bottom floor edge there that crease goes all the way across those are your two vents right there from your uh, from your uh, blower and then pretty good little crease right there stops about that corner and then also you kind of got the uh, sun tracker logo on the back pretty much all the striping except for the two little accent stripes um, is is gone off the back of it so a few little marks on that aluminum edge down here as well Maybe a little scratch on that, uh, the back end of this aluminum pontoon as well. That is the beauty of these aluminum pontoons. They can pretty much take a beating. Um, got another scratch on that aluminum pontoon, kind of going a little ways. Whatever it was, it got the walls. Also got the pontoons a little bit down this side. All right, so that's going to start to wrap things up here for this one. Again, please do refer to our website for the full list of features, options, and, and as your um, as the way to contact us. We, again, we don't monitor that YouTube comment page, so if you do have any questions about this one, um, take the time, hop over our website. Again, there's going to be a direct link down in that video description to take you right to the slideshow page for this one.
our goal is that between the photos and the video tour, you can have a really good feel for the condition of any of our listings, and that way you can make an informed decision, see if it's worthwhile if you're out of our area, see if it's worthwhile for you to come see in person or anything like that. But uh, again, do, do reach out to us through the website if you got questions. You'll be able to reach out to us by phone, by text, or by email, whatever's most convenient for you. Um, again, I told you about leaving a voicemail. Keep in mind we're frequent errors out cell phone reception, reception, so if you don't leave a message, we likely will never know that you called. And if you send us an email, keep in mind a lot of our replies end up in people's spam folders. So keep that in mind. If it's been one business day, you have not got an email reply back from us, check your spam folder. If there's nothing in your spam folder, uh, you might try uh, reaching out to us by text or something. Um, you know, maybe the email address um, got input it wrong or something like that. And our reply uh, just went into, uh, into the, um, out to no one. So... Again, the 2004 Sun Tracker 32 foot party cruiser for sale. Again, slip is transferable here on Norris Lake. Sorry about the lighting here. Um, we are um, in that time of year where we've just got shorter days. Um, we're trying to get, uh, working our way through a little bit of a backlog still. So we're trying to get everybody uh, listed uh, before the season ends. But do reach out to us with any questions. I think that's about all. All there is to tell you on this one, uh, if we missed anything, refer to what's in the website listing. And uh, and also want to, want to give a shout out to uh, to one of our YouTube uh, subscribers, Mrs. Young. Recently, just sent us a uh, lovely little email that that just touched our heart, um, and and we've been thinking of you, and we hope you continue to enjoy our YouTube videos. So. Shout out to Miss Young. Thanks for the thanks for the kind email. And anyone else that's got any questions, this one, two things gonna be coming up on your screen as we conclude. Top left hand corner is gonna be a shortcut to our current listings playlist, and top right hand corner is gonna be a shortcut to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Happy to have you as a, as a subscriber. I thank you again for joining us.